Hi, thanks for tuning in. I'm here with Michael Campion from Fuller House. Keep watching. You're tuning in to the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Hey, everyone. If you can't tell what theme song that is, uh, I don't know what's going on in the world because it's my favorite show, Full House slash Fuller House. I am here with Michael Campion, which you, obviously you know if you watch Fuller House. Hi, guys. How's it going? I'm so excited to have you. I know. It's exciting to be here. It is good times. It's it, like I was telling you earlier, I honestly still watch Full House reruns on TV on Nick and Night, and I grew up with it. And I'm so excited that they finally did this Fuller House. Yeah. Um, sure. I know they've been wanting to do it for years, so I'm so happy it finally happened. And I, I'm sure you are you can't be more than thrilled to be cast in it. Oh, my gosh. It's so awesome to work with the cast. Like, I actually got it on, like, the week of my birthday. That's so, so that was crazy. pretty good birthday present right <laughs> yeah, there. So, that's yeah, that's an amazing birthday present. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Were you? Did you watch the show prior? Yeah, 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 for sure. I um, My mom introduced it to me when I was, like, four or five and I, I again I, I do watch it on Nick at Night that's yeah. how I actually uh, you know started to get into those 90s shows like uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air yeah, and Friends and oh shows. yeah all the good yeah. shows um, that's awesome I can't even imagine like what it'd be like to get cast in a show that you watch like growing up your whole life that's so cool um, do you have like a favorite thing about shooting the show like a favorite thing like what is what is your most favorite thing about shooting I guess oh man that's so difficult there's so many <laughs> awesome things um, I I'm very close with my uh, co-star Sony, and yeah. you know we we go around, we pull pranks on each other a Do lot. I yeah, love it. that's that's really fun. We shoot each other with Nerf guns. Oh it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, like I, I remember just just today, she <laughs> um, on her Instagram story or whatever, uh, uh, she she told the people, oh hey, I'm gonna go scare Michael now, and so like I jumped and I hit the wall. Oh so that gosh. was fun. Yeah, I have to go watch this. I did not <laughs> see that. That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, you're okay, obviously. No, no, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, crap. Uh, yeah, so what's so. the craziest prank you've played on her? Oh, the craziest prank? Oh, I honestly am really bad at Are it. Are you? I got to be honest. But she pulled a pretty good one on me. Um, a couple weeks ago, she put soy sauce in my chocolate milk, and she oh. got it on video. So I was like, Bleh. That's So, gross. yeah. That was gross. She's pretty creative with her pranks. Yeah, she. I would say she's pretty creative. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. And you get to shoot with her all the time, I'm sure, because she's, you know, plays Kimmy's daughter. Yeah. And so she's on the show just as much as you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she's in every episode. Yeah. And so am I, so... And you guys are around the same age in, in real yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're both 14. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Look yeah. at that. Not many 14-year-olds can say they're shooting a show right Not now. Not many 14-year-olds. Is that crazy for you, like, back home with your friends? Oh, yeah. Honestly, like, I mean, they're really supportive of all my stuff that I yeah. do. Um, I actually just recently had to um, go to virtual school, and I, I don't think that I can go to my school anymore. Um, my friends are all missing me, but, you know, like, hey, it's the right thing to do. It's with, hard, uh, yeah. Fuller House, you know, all that stuff. So they're very supportive of Fuller House, for sure, I, I gotta say. That's good. You have some great friends. Because you live in Orlando, right? You're not in L.A.? Yeah, I live in Orlando. Okay, so you just come out here when you guys are shooting and then go back home. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're almost uh, done with this season, so I'm going to be heading back September-ish. Like, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's when my birthday is. <laughs> Um, I've always wanted to go to Orlando just because of Walt well, Disney World. Oh yeah, my favorite place. My mom. <laughs> I've never been, but my favorite place. <laughs> I, 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 I want to let you in in a little thing here. Okay, my tell mom me. works at Walt Disney World. Currently. Currently. Ah, right now. And I didn't know it was a current thing. Okay. She is a fairy godmother at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, oh my and gosh, she transforms I love it. little princesses. That's it's the really best job. That's so awesome. I know. That's, that's the second best job at Fuller House. Yes. Okay. You got the first best job. She got the second best second job. Second best job. Yeah. So I, I mean, it's the happiest place on earth. You can't go wrong. <laughs> that's awesome. And then do you have like a favorite person you like to shoot scenes with on Fuller House? <sighs> favorite person. Oh, man. I got. I have two favorite people. Okay. Let's hear Joey. it. Joey. Joey. Well, Coulier. Dave. Dave Clear. Yeah. For all you people who don't know his real name. <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. He's so funny. He's, He's hilarious. So funny. Like, even off offset like i was oh doing gosh. an interview with him the other day and oh my gosh he's so funny like he was making fart jokes like literally every <laughs> and like no 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 i remember this one time um we were in the middle of a scene and he farted and <laughs> and then we all I'm like oh my god dave like Ugh, like what are you doing so yeah. 
that was a thing. And then my second favorite person is Jimmy. He's coming up in the next okay. season. That's the only thing I'm going to release right okay. now. But uh, he, he's a new character, and he's so funny. He's is he? he's uh This has already been released in the season two promo or whatever. Um, okay. But uh, Jimmy's character is uh, Kimmy's uh, brother. So, oh my mm, gosh, I can only imagine. You can only imagine. Yeah, because so. Kimmy talked about having your brother in Full House because she's like, you know, I need to get the gun to pierce Stephanie's ear. My yeah. brother does this. Yeah. She always mentioned the brother. We mm-hmm. just never saw the brother or the parents. Mm-hmm. The parents always threw her at DJ's house. Yep. So, okay. I my like friends like it. that. My friends like um, Kimmy Gimbler. <laughs> that's awesome. No, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine what her brother is like oh if that's gosh. Kimmy. So funny. It, it, he's awesome. I, I don't know his last name, I, I know his first name. His name is Adam. Oh my his gosh. His real name's Adam. Oh, his real name is Adam. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to look up IMDb Pro and see what I can find. That's so crazy. He's oh, awesome. Wow. That's a good little tease right there. I mean, you, you said it's out already, but I did not know that her brother was going to be coming up. Mm-hmm. I like to see how that kind of switches the story around. Yeah, it really, really puts a little niche in the story there. It's, yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll see. It's, uh, it's Does the Fuller House get fuller? The Fuller House. I can't say anything. Okay. But, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To. I'm gonna. Can I? I'll just guess. You don't have to answer. Sure. Okay. okay. I think that he's gonna come, and he the Fuller house is gonna get fuller, and he's probably not gonna have a job or anything. So he's gonna want to move in with Kimmy, but Kimmy lives with DJ. So it's like you know the attic slash basement wherever she's living is gonna get a little bit bigger. Hmm. He's either gonna take the basement where di- where Joey was living, because she's in the attic where. Jesse and Becky were. No, no I'm off. I'm completely off. A little bit, off. Off. A little bit okay. off. It's all right though. It's all right. Stephanie lives in the basement in. Ethiopia. That's right. Yeah, That's right. So. She does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's so hard to keep track. There's I know. So many Everyone rooms living and so many people in different It's like places. an infinite house. I swear. It's so crazy. It is. It really yeah. is. It's like endless. Um, and what is your favorite thing to do when you're not shooting? Favorite thing? Well, I did mention the the pranks before. Right. But um. Every live audience that we have, I usually have a friend or, or something, or Sony would probably do this with me. But um, I have laser tag that what? I have. Yeah, I have a, I have laser tag guns. Oh my god! And I bought them, and uh, we just go around set. And oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot to mention my <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome set PA. Oh my gosh, his name is Tony. Tony. He's so cool. He's okay. so so awesome, and he'll play laser tag with me and oh Sony. Oh my and, gosh, that's and, the best. <laughs> um, uh, also, Popco is coming back. Bobby Popco, the one uh, with the like the wrestle, the, the wrestling episode where it's like Luch Kaboom. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He, the, the, the troublemaker one. He's gonna be back. So uh, I play laser tag with him all the time, um, and you know we go out and set. We also pull pranks on each other. But uh, you know, I, I feel like me and Isaac do more stuff now um, because I got recently accepted into his uh, YouTube group. That oh, he has. Wow. Yeah, Squad That's 7. Awesome. It's pretty cool. And it's like a so comedy group? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like, like sketch that. comedy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty much. Um, and so uh, <laughs> we do a lot of stuff. We hang out um, all the time. We actually just saw a movie together, Jason Bourne. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it's really good. good. Really, really good, I gotta say. I'll have to check it out. That's Mm -hmm. crazy. And so laser tag on set, I'm just confused. You have, like, the vest thing? Not quite. It's, it's, you have to shoot at the gun, and there's, like, this little sensor in the thing. It's, it, it's kind of complicated. I don't really know all the stuff on that. That sounds like something, like, I don't, I've never been on a set, nor have heard of a set that plays laser tag. Well, Fuller House. Fuller House. Fuller House is the place to be. That's the party, man. And it's cool because you guys do shoot in front of a live studio audience on Friday nights. Mm -hmm. And then I'm sure, you know, that's like everyone's happy after. Maybe eat some cake after, some cookies to celebrate. Yeah, we actually get uh, pizza every live audience after. So that's a great pizza party. Mm -hmm. Well, pizza party after. That's awesome. And then you live in Orlando, but the other kids, I think, live in Orlando too, right? No, no, no. They Sony, live here? Yeah, Sony, actually, Elias lives in Colorado, okay. and Sony lives here in L.A. She actually just moved from Oregon, so. Okay, that's mm-hmm. what I thought. I remember them saying first season that none of the kids lived here, and I was like, wow, yeah. that's a commute, but that's a great commute to have because you have a job, you yeah. know? Yeah, <laughs> for um, sure. That's amazing. Is there any, like, upcoming storylines that you're excited about? Upcoming st- – oh, You don't man. have to tell us the storyline. I'm not, not going to tell you storylines. You can just tell us, like, maybe – Something yeah. that could happen, but like you don't have to give out the story. Yeah, yeah for sure. Sense. I well, there is a lot more stuff with Lola. I can say okay. that, and um, I feel like me and Ramona, we definitely grow more as like brother and sister. We help yeah. each other out in a lot of the episodes. Um, there's a lot of good guest stars. There's a lot of good really? guest stars. Like, yeah, people will be shocked about. It'd be like not shocked per se, but you know, they're like, oh my god, like yeah. oh he's here, like yeah. So the guest stars are really really good. Uh, in my opinion, season two is 
far beyond the expectations of season one. Really? Yeah. Like wow, I, I can't okay. even like I wouldn't even be lying to you. I, I wouldn't just be like <laughs> oh like like self promoting like right, oh season right. two is better. No, no. I honestly, in my heart, I feel like season two is better than season one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. And I heard rumors that it's supposed to be premiering early, like maybe November, December for season two. Yeah, I, I got I, something like that. November, December. I, we haven't really gotten a date yet, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I did read today, though, that Jodie Sweetin put out an interview saying that uh, they the show or whoever is reaching out has given up on trying to get the Olsen twins. What? I didn't and know that. so she just said, like, we've given up, which <gasps> makes me sad because, hello, I mean, you only what? need one to sign on, people. You need one. Oh, no. I and didn't... I know John Stamos mentioned in an interview before that he even tried to get their little sister, Elizabeth Olsen. Yeah. But I think that's a bit awkward, that's... maybe. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I hope I hope that changes. And if they're watching right now, I hope that they do come on because I think America does want them on the show. I had an idea. For... Okay, let's hear okay. it. Okay. So it doesn't matter. They they didn't even have to act. They just had to be there for right, a second. Just stand no, 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 there. no, no, no. My idea is that in just like one of the very like very last credits of Fuller House or whatever, you see Mary Kate and okay. uh, they they go into the door. Okay, two or one. One, just okay. one, just one. And they they're like, hmm, nobody's home. And they leave. Done. A teaser, right Done. there. Season three. This is good. Did you what catch I mean. that to the I did, and, and I did. And then they're like, we're not getting them on. So. It's like they really did That's give up, problem. maybe. It's, they, hard. it's I hard. I don't know. They just say that they haven't acted in years, but it's like you've been acting all your life. And like you said, you don't have to speak. Just knock yeah, on just, the door and be like, and just like walk away. Don't even open your mouth if you don't want to. Well, no, no, no. In my, my idea, they go through the door. I'm like, oh, well, nobody's no home. Here. And they leave. That's it. That's all you have to do. If you guys are watching right now. There you go. Literally all you have to do. Maybe they're watching. Maybe you just changed I their hope mind. You, I hope you watch. You I just hope need you one do. of them to come on, man. Just one. You should I, DM me. I have, my, <laughs> my Instagram is Michael Campion. There you go. There you go. Um, no, I know. It's a little sad that they're not there, but I have, feel like with the addition of the new characters, like you, you know, the three of you and then Sony and then two of DJ's guys, which one is she going to... I mean, Steve was there before, yeah. but uh, John, whose character name is... Uh, Matt. Oh, oh that's gosh. right. I almost forgot what his character I'm name like, was. John is his real. No, Matt. Matt's Matt. His real Matt name. is his real. No, 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 no. John is. You're getting me confused here. John is his real name. Matt is his character name. Okay, there so. we go. I knew there was a John in there. John somewhere. Brotherton. There the, we go. Yes, Matt Harmon. Um, and then you know, with Ashley even being added on as Lola, there's a lot of characters to like. You know, you don't feel like, oh my gosh, Mary Kane and Ashley aren't here, but yeah, you you like it makes who, up for it. You I know, got just like maybe a holiday episode, yeah. Christmas. Oh my like, god! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's another thing I forgot to mention. We have a lot of holiday episodes coming up. I heard and you guys are yeah. doing all of those this Lots, year. Yep, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! How was shooting that? Mm. My favorite one out of all of them was the Halloween episode. Halloween. By far. Okay. Okay. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reveal too much. Okay. But <laughs> our director, he is a like collecting fanatic, and he has literally a warehouse two times bigger than ours in Ohio with. All movie props from wow. horror. Wow. All movie props. And he that he's worked on? or that No, 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 no. Just everything. Like, okay. like, like, he was a collector. And I've seen some pictures. He has, like, the dinosaur from uh, the, 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 the T-Rex from, uh, like, the actual robot from Jurassic Park. Wow. He has, like, okay. like a bunch of, uh, head, model, uh, of head models of, like, uh, Freddy Krueger. Like, all, it's so extraordinary. I can't even, like, mention. Like, I, I, it's so hard it to comprehend. Blows yeah. It blows my mind. And he brought in just, like, a tiny, tiny little portion to fill in some of like the Halloween stuff that, that we had. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's so insane. cool. It's so like realistic and creepy. It's, oh my, it's. Can oh. you tell us what you're dressing up as for Halloween? I'm not dressing up. I can say In that. the episode? Nope, not dressing up. <gasps> I'm, I'm surprised. I am surprised as well. I, but. It's a little but shocking. I know. Is my, anyone else dressing up? Is that anyone dressing up? I can't really say that part okay. because there's some other. <laughs> okay. But I, I can tell you that me and Sonny are not dressing up. They're like, oh, we're You're too cool. we're teenagers You're now. In the too like, cool phase. no, 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 no. I think that you should dress up whenever the heck that you want. Like, yeah. I mean, Halloween. Me, my mom, and my dad, and my sister, we all go out really big for Halloween, especially this year. Um, I don't know if you are familiar with the with steampunk. Do you know what that is? No. It's just like weird. Um, uh, like Victorian area, uh, area, oh my era, gosh. era, <laughs> uh, Victorian era mixed with like sci-fi and stuff, and we're dressing up. We're, we're going all out for that. And then last year we were the ballroom ghost from uh, the haunted mansion, and oh, wow. a couple years before that, 
we were I, I was Flynn. My sister was Rapunzel. I'm not surprised. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, my my phone case over here is a uh, I love it. Flynn, it's so, so great. Yeah, um, yeah. So we we just all out for the Halloween. That's how it should yeah. be, man. It's how it should it's be. A, Halloween is your one day to dress up and get away with if it. If any of you teens are watching right now, that don't dress up on Halloween, and your friends like, oh, why are you dressing up? No, be like, I'm gonna dress up. Because it's cool. It is cool. Like, you guys are lame. What are you doing with your life? So, this is true. Play yeah. back that clip to your friends, and then th they won't have anything to say back to you. I have nothing to say back. That's Michael cool. Campion. That's where the advice is. You got a real friend right here who'll back you up. Um, that's. I love Halloween. It's one of my favorites as well. I mm -hmm. just think it's such a fun holiday to see people out of their kind of normal, yeah. everyday routine character stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of character stuff, who would you say is most and least like their character? Most, oh, man, I, okay. <laughs> this is a really hard one because a lot of them are just like their character. Okay. Um, I personally am a lot like you my character. Like you are? I'm a lot like my character, to be honest. Um, I'm not as, like, clumsy, but I am, I have the certain aspects, like, oh, I'll just do stupid things, like, uh, honestly, my, my mom tells me, <laughs> my mom tells me I act like Jackson a lot. Uh, so funny. But, the least wait you said you said the most most and, and least okay yeah. most I would say probably me and Isaac are probably the most like our characters okay and then Andrea is the least like Kimmy Gibbler really yeah I'm That's sorry to say surprising. I know I know it's it broke my heart to say it too but it's not like she's any quiet or reserved she she's she's like a just a normal person it's not like like when I first met her I'm like I'm expecting Kimmy Gibbler but I'm just normal You're, person yeah. you know so yeah i mean i guess she's played the character like basically majority of her life yeah yeah and so you would think it'd be a little bit blurred lines like which one is her which one's her character they kind of mesh together but that's an extreme character too i feel like yeah. so yeah maybe it's good that it hasn't blurred lines yeah. together <laughs> but that's awesome and if you could recast yourself and play any character guy or girl on the show like it doesn't matter what gender oh. they are who would you want to be wow that's a toughie there like, are so many it doesn't characters. matter if it's like, oh, I want to, I think Candace Cameron's part is cool. Or like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. That you're a guy and like, they're a girl. Mm -hmm. um, I would have to say <laughs> Uncle Jesse. Yes! Uncle Jesse. <laughs> he's sure. my favorite. Oh my Hands gosh. Down. Uh, yeah, he's so cool in real life too. He's so cool. Like, like when you see John Stamos, John Stamos is not Jesse Kazopoulos. No. He is so down just, to earth. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, but... In a way, he is his character, but he's also himself at the same time. It's really yeah. hard to explain, but like, they're they're one. I it's <laughs> I know it sounds weird, like they're like, they're like one character. It's weird. It, he's one of my favorites. I've actually interviewed majority of the cast: uh, John, oh, nice. Lori, Dave, you, Candace, Bob. Yeah, pretty much the majority of the cast, like the main. You just haven't gotten cast. Elias and Sonia. No, 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 okay. I, not yet. I gotcha. Given you up, will. You know. <laughs> yeah, you can go back and see how much fun you're having. Totally, I'll totally say. Totally come in. I'll say <laughs> after watching right now. Um, but I have to say, every single person I've interviewed from that cast has been so phenomenally nice and humble and down to earth. And like you said, Dave is hilarious. I saw his stand-up show in LA. My friend was opening oh, for him. I want to go see his stand-up oh show gosh, so bad. Oh my gosh, it was so. I told him on the red carpet. I was like, I need to be honest with you. Like, I don't think Full House gave you enough credit. Like, yeah. you are so talented. He did, like, a Robin Williams impression, and it was, like, mm -hmm. touching <laughs> and heartwarming at the same time, but it was, like, sad because, you know, he's no longer yeah. here. But it was just, like, it was so spot on, and I, I will never forget it. I was like, my God, I, I really don't think Full House gave you enough credit for as funny as you are. Yeah, you he's know? so hilarious. It's, like, if you were to just be with him, you'd be smiling constantly like yeah i i um just a couple days ago i was uh at juan pablo's like little private concert that he put yeah. on for us and um dave was there and uh there were a few like news reporters and uh we did an interview in uh dave and sony and andrea and me and elias we all did an interview oh my gosh <laughs> like literally every time they asked him a question or something he would say like I don't even know how he does yeah. it, but like I was smiling and cracking up the whole time. Like just being with Dave just gives you such a such a nice smile on your face. It's, it's true. Yeah, He's, they're all amazing people. And I was I was honestly cracking up the entire red carpet interview. And I made him do the Robin Williams thing. I was like, can you please just? I won't need to just see this. You don't have to do your whole bit. Just like a little like two second line. And he did it. And I was like, oh my god, I was dying on the red carpet. But That's anyways, hilarious. they're all amazing. And I I can't imagine like 
I think you definitely lucked out because I know not every show is like that. Mm -hmm. And I've experienced shows that are not maybe the nicest of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, I um, understand. But I, I've, you yeah. for sure lucked out. It's crazy. It's like they literally are a family. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's really weird. Like, they had this whole, like, really tight family bond in the 80s. And then they're just like, oh, 2015 people. You yeah, can come, come in. Come like, so in, yeah. Join the party. Yeah, that's. I, I really do feel a part of their family. That's good. Mm -hmm. And it makes it seems like that. I mean, like, off, based off of social media, I mean, I'm not there, but, yeah. you know, just based off of what they say, like, in interviews about the other cast members and you guys, it's amazing. And, hello, we can't forget, you guys just won the Teen Choice Award. Bam! Teen Choice Award How right there. How was that? Did you see any celebrities that you were, like, gawking over? Like, oh, my God, it's, not, like, Taylor Swift or something. Not gawking over, I could say, but... but <laughs> such a bad word, but... but. Um, <laughs> um, um, oh man, what's the guy who plays Captain America? Uh, what's his name? I, I'm just thinking of the Hemsworth brother, but that's not who it no, is. No, 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 that's, that's Thor. Chris Hemsworth. Is Chris it? Hemsworth. Wait, is that his No, it's not the Hemsworth brother. Is I, it? I don't know. Chris Hemsworth. They it's all blur. Like, something. Whoever Cap plays Captain America, he Maybe was there. Chris he, ex he accepted the, the thing. My, oh my God, it's Captain America. Like, that's yeah. so cool. And then yeah, John Cena was obviously there with the, he was hosting it. Yes. And so was uh, Victoria. So um, that was really cool. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Did I meet any celebrities that were really... Did you have it? any that you were like, oh my gosh, I'm crushing on this girl. I really hope she comes. And then she came and like gave you the biggest hug because you just won the Teen Choice mm, Award and then your I, life was made. I wouldn't <laughs> say crushing anymore. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to say who it is. But um, okay. found out some pretty pretty bad things about this person. And then I was just like, That's you know, a shame. I'm all right. You know, At the Teen Choice Awards you yeah, found out? Yeah, Teen Choice Well, it wasn't really at the Teen Choice Awards. Um, but, you know she is sony's friend oh, okay. and then you know we were just we were talking the stuff and uh you know she's kind of mm, i don't know i don't want to say anymore okay <laughs> chris evans that's right chris, chris evans, evans that's his name it's a chris something it's a chris you were something. close you were very close chris something that's what it was chris evans. i was like it wasn't a hemsworth brother i wouldn't remember that um but chris evans that's amazing mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's a bummer when that happens because that happens yeah. to me sometimes too. When you're crushing on someone on TV and then you meet them and you're like, ooh, that crush just ended real fast. Yeah, real fast. Yeah. Have that in real life too. But so. luckily, everyone you work with is great. So then forget this crush and move forget on to someone crush, else. Move on. on to the next what you one. Do. Can I just tell you, I know this is, I don't know if this is going to happen or not. Maybe it's just me wanting this, but I kind of want you and Ramona to get together. Uh, oh, no, you've heard this a million times, haven't a you? A million times. Okay, but like, I can see that there's a reason why everyone wants that. But like, we're living together and we're like that brothers. Doesn't, that <gasps> doesn't It's mean weird. He, she does get a love interest though. In this. Okay, and yeah. not you. Not me. Not me. But you have a love interest too. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> like legit disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's not. It's not her. I just feel like the whole. No, concept I get it. Would the whole weird. concept. It's yeah. the. It's the. You live together. You've seen each other in pajamas. You've seen yeah. them without makeup. I get it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I just feel like there's something between you guys, like. Maybe like season five. Maybe we, it we were talking about that. Me and me, Sony, and her mom. I we we went rock climbing one day. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah. casually. <laughs> just casually. No, no, no. <laughs> like oh, we we go to this rock climbing gym, but that that's beside the point. Okay. Um, we were in the car. I was driving back, and we were talking about like you know like Jamona. Like what is that? that that's our ship name, by yeah. the way. That I've I've seen so many hashtags about it. Like hashtag Jamona. Like oh, you guys need to get together. I'm like no, stop. Um, but uh, uh basically. What they were saying is that, like, uh, she, my, her, oh my God, uh, her mom suggested, like, uh, like the very, very last thing, like, you know, very last, yeah, something would happen, you know, maybe satisfy the fans, right? But until then, I would I not say. I feel like say. the fans are gonna get to the writers eventually. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna I feel like, like they're gonna just the plow through. Like, I mean, I don't know. I can't be the only one who wants this. No, I you're like definitely you guys not are the like only one. So cute together. I get it. It's a brother and sister thing. I totally understand. You're both like super young, but like you know, maybe like I don't know, just something like really sweet and innocent, really subtle. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Like maybe it's Christmas and you happen to like stumble underneath a mistletoe, oh, and shit. she like had a horrible day, and you're like, oh, don't worry. She would punch me in the face if I. <laughs> she would have punched you if it's a line and it's like, in the show. If it's in the show. <laughs> maybe but, uh, in real life, it's a different story, yeah. but. We, we act a lot like brother and sister offset too like like we'll argue about stupid things just like like you literally ate the last stone i was saving that and they're like what no you didn't this, where's your name on it like honestly so, so you guys have really yeah. formed the truth we, so we that's, really that's formed the truth more disturbing yeah you. be a little but you know i know a lot of people i mean granted you're very young right now but i know a lot of people who started off in great relationships like that 
You're very young. We're not, we're not talking about relationships. Mm. I'm just saying, like, you know, maybe for the fans, like, one little... Well, well something, something. Like, even a kiss on the cheek, I think, will be I'll okay. run it by Jeff will you? Franklin. I will. Okay. I promise. Okay. I promise. I'll, okay. I'll keep you updated on it. Yeah, let me know how that fans pitch is going. Get pitch that one. Run. Pitch your Mary-Kate and Ashley story. I will. Yes, yes. I'll do that, too. Your two pitches coming. Maybe two Walt pitches. Disney World trip. Walt Disney World Look, trip. they went in full yeah, house. I, and we said that, but then they're like, oh... You know, ABC is not like supporting anymore, so like we can't oh, really do that. Right. But then I was like, Netflix. well, we gotta have a trip at least once. Like, yeah, I mean, so Hawaii. I'm like, yeah, Hawaii. Look, Perfect. No one Perfect will example. complain. Like, I would totally do that. Yeah. I would totally do that. But whatever. Yeah. You know. Season Somewhere. three. Season three is around the corner. So it's true. It's very true. And do you have someone like season three is coming up, and you guys are how many episodes left till you're done? Three. That's it. Mm-hmm. Three. Wow. When did you start your shooting? Um, May. May? Yeah, May. Wow. That's right. Did you guys have breaks in between? Yeah, yeah. We have two, uh, one week breaks every three weeks. Okay. So, yeah. We have a... That feels like it went so fast. It was. Honestly, like, I don't even... It didn't even feel like I was shooting Fuller House. I was just yeah. here. Like, and how how many episodes of season two? Um, Same, 13. 13. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. I thought you guys did 22 all of a sudden. I was like, how did that happen? We might be doing another, like, maybe... 10 okay. or so next uh, next season i i think i think they already said that um jeff said that and uh in an interview or whatever so uh yeah yeah well the fans i mean everyone went crazy everyone was binge watching i mean you guys got renewed or picked up the day of so mm-hmm. and that's very unlikely there's shows that go off the air and then like six seven months later they're still waiting like hello are we coming back to work you yeah know? so yeah. that's crazy that's, yeah you're very lucky yeah for sure that's amazing i have to ask though do you have someone on the show that you wish you had more scenes with more scenes with um matt i gotta say matt okay. uh he he's like the only father figure that i that i have right now i right. mean steve steve has his own thing he says <laughs> he isn't i don't know um but i feel like dj's more interested in matt okay and are you um, team matt i'm team matt 100 oh, percent steve I know. What? I should have said that. I know. Steve had his chance. Steve had his chance. And he's being weird now. Like, you remember that, that scene where they were, like, doing, I know. doing a little... Uh, I don't know. I'm T-Matt, you gotta say. Sorry. I just grew up watching, like, DJ and Steve together, and it's, like, it's just, like, I, I don't know. know. All the fans that's, just want. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I, I, I was thinking something like that. Yeah. And then Matt came along, and Steve and just kind of... And you feel like he's a better father figure for you. I feel kids. like yeah, I feel like he's okay. a better father figure for me. Um, but I want more scenes with him just so I can have a better connection. Yeah, you know, because yeah, yeah. I don't really have like I think the most that I've ever had with Matt is like hey or whatever. Oh yeah, and actually the most I've had is at that baseball game yeah, when yeah, yeah, when I, I got the credit that. card and okay. stuff. So that was yeah. That's mm. okay. All right, yeah. Team Matt. Team Matt. All right, okay. Team Steve <laughs> over there. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, look, I I do like Matt. I like Matt's character, and I think, you know, they both look and are completely different guys. They both are into DJ, mm-hmm. and who's your mom, obviously. But I don't know. I just think it's, like, this nostalgia thing, and it's, like, we grew up watching Steve, and you're like, come on. He, like, saved her from the prom. He, like, mm-hmm. you know, he dumped that other blonde girl that he didn't go dance with. Like, all this stuff that comes back from Full House, you're like, come on, Steve, put the ring on it, marry her, let's call it mm-hmm. a day. Yep. Why are you both still single right now? I know, I know. It's crazy. Like, if, I, I would say if Matt weren't around, I'd probably, I mean, Steve would be the only one. But, yeah. Uh, still, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But they have to have another one to bring the drama. Because if it was just Steven, like, oh, okay. And then what? And then you what? Know you know? Like, they yeah. go on vacations. You become a happy family, which is great. But then they need a little bit of a little, a little, Yeah, I got you. They need you. a little bit mm-hmm. of a... Which is why I think Juan Pablo is still in the picture of Yeah, Kimmy. yeah, for sure. And, you know, at the end, you know, they work things out. Not entirely, but uh, they still did work things out to a certain degree. Um, I would say that their relationship is going to be successful from yes. what I've seen so far. I haven't even, I don't even know all the stories yet, but uh, I, I'm sure that in the future, like, they'll stay married. And, uh, anything's yeah. going to happen. He, he's definitely a, a change guy. I feel so. like, I mean, I've never met him. I've never met him or John Brotherton. Brotherton. Yeah. Um, but I will have to say that I think both of them, I mean, just, they both seem like amazing guys. And I feel like just by casting wise, Juan Pablo kind of looks like Sony to me. Like, he kind of looks he like does? he could be the dad. I don't well, know. Like, they is, meshed it well together with Timmy <laughs> and got the girl. I don't know. Casting did well on that trio. Yeah, yeah, for but, sure. 
like yeah I, I i could see it if you mash them together they'd make, they'd a, make like a sony funny. yeah 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 i can see that <laughs> I, mean, I see know, just i don't know just I certain you. features of each one but i i do like that this was ending like in season one that it was like over oh, together when moving in and she was like so happy yeah wants, yeah you know, that and doesn't want their parents mm-hmm. to get divorced obviously but while i look through your millions of fan questions that are coming instagramming in thank you everyone for tweeting yeah, and thanks. sending i'm gonna look through this but while i do you can tell everyone what you like to do when you're not shooting. When I'm not shooting. And I'll look through this. Oh my when gosh. I'm not shooting. <laughs> um, well, I like to airsoft a lot. I don't know airsoft? if you know that. It's like paintball, but it's like little so plastic pellets. It doesn't, hurt as, it doesn't hurt as much. Okay. Um, I like to go airsofting. I take uh, jujitsu. Oh. I'm going to take Krav Maga when I get back to Orlando. Um, geez, what else do I like to do? I like to play a lot of video games. Um, I'm also a sword collector. Oh, are you? Know. Yes. Do you? Do you sword fight as well? I do. I do a little bit. Um, wow. I used to take fencing lessons bar- barely. I didn't really like fencing, to be honest. Okay. Um, but I do more like stage sword fighting, like okay. uh, choreographed kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Do I haven't done that, that in a while, though. creep its way into Fuller House? <laughs> mm, I don't really know any like practical use that they would have it for just yet. I mean, yet. do they know you can do it, though? I Now they do. Not t- I mean, now they do. <laughs> yeah, you guys see. Uh, I mean, I haven't really told them because it's not really that big of a thing like i i used to be like really super into swords yeah but now i'm just kind of mellowed out um okay. but I, like definitely i am better at choreography than most i guess i would say because i remember um me and isaac the one who plays uh, bobby Popko, yeah. uh i actually have an instagram video up um me and him like we were stunt sword it wasn't really like choreographed or anything but we were just kind of playing around with swords uh, like it wasn't swords it was lightsabers that's right okay. lightsabers my whole room is star wars decked out so wow. i have like all the yeah okay. yeah i also have a picture of that on there too oh my gosh um, i have to see this so crazy. yeah it's it's hilarious funniest video you ever watch um so yeah we were just playing around and all these people are like oh my god like oh you guys like choreograph that i'm like no no we didn't choreograph it like but still I'm pretty good this. at that kind of stuff. So. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, totally... you know, y'all heard it. If you guys are watching in the EPs, you know, Jeff Franklin, if you're watching Jeff right Franklin. now, Mary Kate Ashley, if you're if watching. watching you hope know, you're watching. He I can sword watching. fight. I can sword I, fight. I hope that kind of goes Don't into mess like, with a, me. <laughs> like a, like, you know, you're sword fighting to like damsel in distress. Like, oh my gosh, look, I'm going to sword fight and save someone. I don't know. I gotcha. feel like guys love that In my stuff. dream. And if we have a dream sequence. Okay. I'll fight off things i'll i'll pitch that that's my third pitch there of the you day. go you have a third lot of pitch pitches of to go back with tomorrow at work you have a lot of stories to go back to the writers and be like stories. look let me tell you what happened got yesterday. a lot of them um and you also have a lot of fans and a lot of questions <laughs> so let's get to a few of these this is so awesome thank I, you guys I for also, sending it in yeah i also you can also check out my instagram just to like see if they have okay any, uh, yeah i'm, I'm yeah. doing twitter first and then i'll go to okay. instagram gotcha. this is from at Brittany lamka and she says, can you ask Michael what his favorite memory from fil- filming Fuller House is? My favorite memory. The season one, obviously. Um, wow. Honestly, not, not necessarily filming, but just the moment I got the job. Yeah. On my birthday. So basically what it was is... Um, you flew here to audition. I, I, I flew... No, no. I, I, did, I did... I had done like five like a uh, video audition okay and then they're like hey you know you're really good we want to see you out here I'm like okay cool so i flew out there yeah um and it was like me another kid and another kid yeah and so i was like shaking like legit I'm shaking sure, yeah. and, and i went in there i'm like oh my god i'm like okay all right shh, shh. so um I, I go in and uh after like my second read through or whatever and uh they they said hey we're gonna give you your hotel information I'm like okay cool so i was expecting hotel information so basically, I, um, my mom and I were in there. We went to the room. It was like the writers, the um, the producers, yeah. and uh, the creator of the show, Jeff Franklin. Yeah. Um, I, I told them. Well, they had asked me like where I where I lived, and I said Orlando. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. Um, so I guess you go to Disney a lot. I'm like, yeah, my mom actually works there. <laughs> and they're like, oh wow, what does she do? She's like, oh, she's a fairy godmother there. I'm like, oh wow, that's so cool. And so when my mom came in. Um, they're like, oh, you must be the fairy godmother. And it's like, oh, I forgot to bring my wand today. And then, and then they're like, oh, well, you didn't need your wand today to make some magic because Aww. we would like to, we would like Michael to be on our Fuller That's House family. That's the cutest story. And then I'm like, ah! And so I started crying. I cried. Oh I my was gosh, like, I would have lost Phew. it. I would have been on the floor like no, a baby. Like they had to hose me off the walls and stuff. No, Aww, yeah. That's yeah. so cute. And, and they videotaped the whole thing. 
Is so that out somewhere? I have not. Si- I have been asking for that video for so long, oh and they have God. not. They have to release that. Yes, give it to you release at least. it, release it, release Home it. Home video, man, you need that. Please, you can yes. show your kids. Like, look at the happiest moment before I had you and met your <laughs> mom, you know? Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh, that's the cutest thing ever. I love it. That's adorable. I'm going gonna, gonna to start crying, but I'm not. <laughs> but that's that's such a great... And on your birthday, too. Yeah, on my birthday. What a birthday present. Oh, my wow. gosh. Wow. <laughs> and I remember the first thing that I asked was... Uh, uh, am I still gonna have a birthday party? Because I, I had planned for like my friends to come in, like um, to Orlando. I'm like, oh, yeah. crap! Oh my god, what about my friends? Like, oh shoot! <laughs> Hello, the birthday party. You yeah, guys. yeah. <laughs> That's so. funny. I'm sure you celebrated big that year. Oh, for sure. That's big, like a double big, big, big. celebration. You got the yeah. part. You your birthday. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow, what a great story. That's awesome. Um, next fan question is from at Salman Nas. Nasution. I'm so sorry if I completely like butchered your name, but the <laughs> thing is Sal Nasution. Okay, Got so it. they say, "I'm Michael Campion. Give me a hashtag to describe your Fuller House experience." Oh, my Fuller House experience. That's pretty. Like a ha- in a hashtag. Oh, in a hashtag. Yeah, they oh, want it in a my. hashtag. Okay. This is a complicated one. <laughs> this is a complicated one. You guys are asking some pretty complicated questions here. Um, is it just one hashtag? I guess. I mean, they didn't specify. They just said hashtag. To describe your experience on the floor house, um, maybe like hashtag best TV family on earth. Oh, right there. there you go. He did it, dude. Did he it. did it. I best did. TV family on earth. There I like go. it. Yep. I am switching to. I'm gonna get the the, the whole um, cast a mug that says uh, best TV family on earth. Okay, like, I think you should no, like a Christmas no, no, no. present it has for to be everybody. Number one, best TV family. Okay. Mm-hmm. I love it. I have 93 questions on Instagram. We're not going to get through all 93, but I'm just going to, like, whatever comes up here. Uh, Bizarre Vark Facts wants to know, when did you start acting? When did I start acting? Well, I was around five, six, something like that. Um, I started in community theater, and uh, I worked my way up to, um, actually, it's kind of a complicated story. I'm not going to get into all of it. But uh, (laughs) I I started uh, to model, and then after that, they wanted me to do print work, then to get my resume up, and then that just led to another. I got all, all these commercials, and then um, I got a movie, my very first movie, in fact, which was called Robo Dog. Okay. Which, oh my gosh, so long ago. Uh, and then uh, Christmas Trade was my next one after that. It was with like Billy Baldwin, and uh, we basically like switch bodies or whatever. Okay. And then a very short time after that, like literally the next summer, Fuller House. <laughs> like, it's crazy. And I had this really awful Bieber haircut and it oh looked like gosh, a bull. It's not a Bieber haircut. It looked like a bull, I swear. <laughs> and on the first day of uh, set that I started filming, they cut my hair in like 20 minutes. Wow. We're like, hey, he needs to be on set in 20 minutes. You're like, oh crap, like, we need to cut your hair. So my hair is now so much better, <laughs> I gotta say. I've wanted this haircut for so long, so long. And my mom was like, oh no, you need to have it, you know, longer so you can play uh, younger parts. Yeah. Like, ugh, okay. So, um, I have this haircut now. But it's fine. It looks great. Yeah, it's good. No, I no, I like it. Summer, this, this is my favorite know? haircut. Like, okay, I, this I've wanted this one. Like, I've okay, wanted this okay. one. I was like, wait, it looks fine. I don't know what the yeah. problem is. Oh, shoot. I didn't make focus. Um, you, okay, believe it or not, you have so many questions on Instagram that as far down as I scroll, I can't even get oh to gosh. it. So, I'm just, I have to pick the ones that are on the top because I literally don't have many choices. So, this one is from Michael.Sony. Um, oh, so, I know that account. I know that account. Okay, well, there you account. go. Uh, I don't know if it's a friend or who it is, but no, they I, said. I, I've commented a few times on that. Okay, they really want you you're to notice You're a cool them. account, by the way. I got to say, you're a cool account if you're watching. He's noticing you. There I'm you go. You, you got cool. your dream. But you're legit. they also have a question. Okay, what's what's They want to know what are your pet peeves? Okay, I have the weirdest pet peeve. My my number one pet peeve is when people leave doors open. People really? Do not leave your doors open. Like I cannot even stress enough. So I have this awful thing. Every time in the schoolroom, my my teacher Laura and okay. Sony, they'll always like walk into the schoolroom and not shut the door. Oh my and gosh. I'm like, what are you doing? You know I hate that. And then they they I, I have to get up like guys for the last time. Please shut the door because it just. It I don't know. Drives you crazy. It just drives me crazy. Like, any door doesn't matter. Any door doesn't matter. That door was open right there. But do you mind shutting the door, please? Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. I have that's, a. That's interesting. It's weird. Don't it's ask not me. As, that's not like I mean I thought maybe a peppy would be insane like maybe a bit. On no, the no, other it's, side, not, it's not. It's not on the other side. <laughs> but 
It's good though. That's not it's too it's, bad. It's a pet peeve. I understand. It's kind of annoying. It's like, why is it open? Mm-hmm. Either close it or. And my mom does it the worst too, <laughs> because she'll 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 like go to my room and be like, "Hey, here's your laundry. You should put it on my bed." And I'm like, "Shut the door, please." Yeah, close the door. <laughs> Thank you. I get so, it. No, I yeah. get it. Yeah. It makes sense. But makes you did mention school on set. So are you guys still in school? Right. It's summer vacation, is it not? Well. Not right now. Today was actually my first day of school. Okay, um, welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Um, I, as what I, grade uh, are you in now? I'm in eighth grade. Okay. So as I mentioned before, um, I I just started virtual school because right. I can't really do right. normal school anymore because it's really confusing. Um, so yeah, I just started virtual school and uh, on set, basically, every time that we have a break, we have to go to school. Like, it doesn't matter if it's a five-minute break. Like, really? we have to go to school. And the minimum is like three hours for school or something like that but okay. if you don't have any bank time like if you don't do any hours over like three okay with that that goes into your bank um you have to bank hours so basically instead of doing three you have to do five hours wow. so you have to stay after set when no one's there you got to go in the school room you got to do stupid school so yeah. yeah okay so you don't want to ever have to do that yeah and then i know you I and time, sony so. are like around the same age but how about elias does he go in the classroom with you guys no too? no 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 who no, no um <laughs> uh he uh yeah no he he, he has his own um because he's classroom. younger obviously. yeah yeah so he's younger you can't, i can't imagine being in the room yeah it, to it's, learn a, the adult it's, stuff, it's not know? like like he's annoying or anything it's right. just that he would probably be more of a di- more of a distraction because he needs a lot more help from the teachers and, yeah and he's very and energetic I've he's very out. energetic yes very energetic um i'm yeah i'm not saying like oh i don't want him no, in the no, no i get saying, it but he's yeah. younger so it's a little harder for mm-hmm. you to focus if it's like you know hard math and he's like you know learning something a bit yeah. easier yeah if, if, if you tell me be like oh no like i don't want him in there no, I, no, yeah no, that's not what i saw what i got okay okay i didn't get that i got it like you and sony you and sony are the same age so i understand you guys go to school i just didn't know how they have the school teacher set up with like is it one for everybody or yeah, is it different it's well it's it's only one for me and sony and if isaac comes in and he has to do school he'll, he'll do school with us for that week and then ashley usually does school with us but she has um virtual school and she does it on her own yeah she doesn't really need any uh help with that so um yeah it's really just me and sony and during the summer we'll just play board games and if you know we want to do like some um like if we want to go outside during lunch or whatever. Yeah. She's not just our school teacher. She's like our, uh, gosh, what what is what is it called? Like your caretaker or something. Yeah, like? ca- caretaker. That's not the word I was looking for. But, but like not your caretaker because your mom's there. But yeah, you, something like the yeah. set caretaker of you guys. It's um she she makes sure that like we go to lunch on time and like yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, welfare worker. That's there what it go. is. That's okay. what it is. Welfare worker. Okay. Yeah, like that we go to lunch on time and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because so, yeah, they she, have to have someone from the mm-hmm. union to make sure that they don't overwork kids. Yeah, and everything, which yeah. Which is I think it's a great idea because I mean you never know sometimes mm-hmm. crazy things could happen. Yeah. But, that's awesome. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. No oh my problem. gosh. My phone is still blowing up. <laughs> I, I like, it's like, I can't even do this. Okay. One more question. Cause I haven't, I haven't seen this. One. Okay. Sure. This person. Let's see this person. Um, it's from Han Hasuni. Han Hasuni. Han okay. Hasuni on gotcha. Instagram. Um, you sort of mentioned this, but I didn't really say, I guess what inspired you to start acting? What inspired me to start acting? Well, it's not like I've I had really had anything to inspire me, but um, I did have a director, Steven Spielberg. Steven oh. Spielberg is my <laughs> all time favorite director. I love Steven Spielberg. He really like I was like wow, Steven yeah. Spielberg like look at all these awesome movies like Indiana Jones, Jaws, Jurassic Park like all my my favorite movies there, and um, uh, I'd I'd be like oh my gosh, Steven Spielberg like I want to be in his movie. And you know that that would that would drive me more than you know not not just like you know oh I want to be an actor I'd right. be like wow Steven Spielberg like you know um, I feel like feel like when I get older and I'm not you know really an actor anymore um, I want to be a director. Okay. So, so you think you're gonna switch to that? You don't think you'll stay uh, yeah. acting the rest of your yeah, life? Yeah, I mean, uh, um, one of our directors, Rich, he's actually shooting okay. uh, he, directing our episode right now. Um, he was a child actor. I'm not really sure what he was in, but. Uh, he has so many years of experience. It's, really? so, it's so cool. He he's the one that has all the like like the collections. Oh, the collections. Yeah, okay. he, he's a collection person. Um, so you're getting kind of tips from him on how to like transition yeah. and like the yeah. child acting too. Mm-hmm. Sure. And I feel like I don't know. I feel like maybe you looked down on the child actor thing. Like you got into such a great yeah. show. Yeah, like, I you mean, know, some kids end up in crazy shows. So. Well, yeah, honestly, I can't. I it's really hard for me to say, um, but. I know a lot of kids who are like, oh my gosh, like you're 
so cool you're so awesome like no 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 i'm I'm not i'm not you got to stay humble because you know i could have ended up on a soccer team i could have been really good at soccer and no one would have noticed me but you know you have to use your gifts for it's very you have, true you have to be and you have your gifts and you are very humble and i could vouch for that because i just interviewed you well, thank so you it's great but i had so much fun with you thank yeah. you so much for stopping by awesome do you want to just tell them where they can find you on social media like say at whatever sure you're... totally um i don't really have a uh, twitter i don't I, I do have a twitter but i barely ever use it um michael campion uh just for instagram and then michael campion with two n's for snapchat there you so, go they, michael campion was used i don't know so and you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Annika Michelle One and my website AnnikaMichelle.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV.